week of Ella's wheelchair workouts. Welcome back, I hope you're well and I hope you've had a great time celebrating over the last few weeks. I hope you've eaten lots and I hope you've drunk lots and I hope you'll still carry on working hard. And that's what I'm here for today, to keep you nice and active and to burn off all that food that you've eaten. So today we are gonna be doing a core and balance workout. Now you don't need any equipment for this today, it's the beauty of it. We're just gonna work that core as hard as we can and to try and improve our balance, which will help us with transferring and just everyday life, it will just really, really benefit us. So no equipment needed, but as usual guys, just make sure you're nice and healthy to take part in this workout and make sure you seek medical advice from your GP or healthcare professional before doing anything so you don't injure yourself. I mean, I can't see you, I can't see what you're doing. So hopefully if you follow me, you'll all be good. But let's just have nice and fun. We've got five exercises like usual. We'll do each one twice and we'll work for a minute on and 30 seconds off. So a minute is quite a long time for balancing and core work, but hopefully you'll feel like you've really worked by the end. As usual, we'll start off with a five minute warm up and we'll finish with a five minute cool down. So I hope you're excited. I am, I'm ready to go. And if you are, we'll start off with our five minute warm up. So I'm gonna start the timer and off we go. So we're gonna start off with our hand cycling. So all you're gonna do is cycle like this in front of you like you're on a bike. You can go alternate hands if you find that easier. We're just going to do two hands at a time. Really good guys. So we're going to go for about 40 seconds more on this. Really get our heart rate up and really work hard. Make sure you put your brakes on too. Apparently I haven't and my chair's moving around a bit but there we go. Really good job. Let's keep those arms nice and relaxed. Let's get them nice and warmed up. Really good job. And we've got 10 seconds left to do these hand cycles. Really good. Work those arms hard. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good. Shake out those arms, make sure you're nice and loose. And we're just gonna go into our bend and stretches. So we've done these before in a lot of other old workouts, but it wakes up our body. So all you're gonna do is bend forward, come back, and stretch up into the air. Bend forward, come back, and up into the air. And we're gonna do 10 of these all together. So when you're ready, off we go. So that's one, two, three, Four, five, oh, really good, feeling that stretch. Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, let's go. Ten, really good job, okay. Shake out, make sure you're nice and loose. And as usual, it wouldn't be an elbow one workout without our lawn mowers. So we're gonna go 10 on each arm. You're gonna do a short pull with your elbow nice and high and a long pull all the way through. When you're ready, off we go. One, two, three. Nice and slowly so you get a good stretch through. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm. Ten, really good. Okay, and we're going to switch over and do the other arm. Another ten. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm really feeling that today. Seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm. Ten. Really good job. Okay, shake those arms out, get nice and loose. And as usual, we finish off by stretching our necks. So our necks are nice and stiff. So we're going to look from side to side, from left to right, nice and slowly, and we're going to do 15 of these. So when you're ready, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one more. Fifteen. Really good job. Shake it all out. Get nice and loose. I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain. It's raining today. It's horrible, miserable day when I'm filming this. And um, I hope you can't hear it too much. I hope you can't hear too much scattering about either. All right, so that's our warm up done. So grab a drink. You've earned it. Well done. And we'll get ready to go into our first exercise, which is always a tricky one. So as you need no equipment for this, we're going to start off with our side crunches. So all you're going to do is have your hands in the air as best as you can. That's not vital, but have your hands in the air. And we're gonna do it lean from side to side as much as you can. Just like that. And this will hopefully wake up our oblique muscles and get them working, which are down the side of our body here. So these are side crunches and we're gonna do these for a minute. So get ready, we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. Oh, my chair is nice and squeaky today. So sorry if you can hear them. Hopefully the music is not loud. <laughs> really good. Keep stretching. Really good. Stretch as far as you can go. And you're halfway. You've done 30 seconds. These are tough work. Really good. 15 seconds left. Keep carrying on through. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good. Give that rep body a break. And if you are struggling to do that with the hands above your head, that's fine. Try and do it with your hands on your lap to give you a little bit more balance, but just try and lean as far as you can without leaning on your elbows if you can. So you're making your body do most of it. You might have to stick your elbows out to the side and lean from side to side. But we're gonna repeat with our hands above our heads and we're gonna go again in three, two, one, and off we go. Nice quick changeovers today. Only 30 seconds. This is a tough one for me, I really struggle. I work my core really hard. Really good. Keep going, guys. And you're halfway. You've done 30 seconds now. Keep up the good work, keep going. Really good. Oh, really keep going as strong as you can. There's only 10 seconds left now. Really good, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really, really good job. Have a nice break. Oh, tough one. Have a nice break, let your muscles recover. And we're gonna get ready to go into the next one, which is our twists. So these are a bit like a Russian twist, but without any weight at all. So all you're gonna do is have your arms up in front of you. Sorry, my timer was gonna run out. So to explain it, you're gonna have your arms up in front of you, like close to your chest. And all you're gonna do is twist round as far as you can go on each side. Pretty challenging and hopefully will make your core begin at this point. So really, hopefully we'll work these muscles down our side really, really well. Just do the best you can. And we're gonna go in five seconds time. Three, two, one, and off you go. Really good. Really spin around as far as you can go on each side. 
Either a bit like Russian twist, just without the weight. You're just going to keep spinning. Really good job, guys. Keep going. Halfway, then 30 seconds. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. Fifteen seconds left, keep going, keep spinning. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good job. Whew, that made me a little bit dizzy. And so grab a quick drink and then we'll go again. Once again, guys, if you are struggling to really twist then you can have your hands on your and really twist your body round with your arms instead maybe without having to hold them up but we're going to go again for another minute to get ready in three two one and off we go really good keep going see if you can twist even further around than last time to kick in. Getting a little bit dizzy, you need to stop looking in each direction. <laughs> and you're halfway through, you've done 30 seconds, so keep going. You're doing really, really well. This is not easy at all, so keep going. 15 seconds left, final push up. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good job. Oh, I'm quite tired after that one, it's quite tough. It's really tough actually. Okay, have a nice break, and then we'll go on to the next exercise grab a drink if you need and the next exercise we're going to do we've done these before as well we do these quite a lot in our warm-up but they're also really good to wake up our core so we're going to go on to our reaches with a side bend so all you're going to do is reach over to the side as far as you can go on each side you're going to reach your hand right round and if you want to make this into more of a cardio drill then just speed it up the faster you go the harder it will be and the more it will work your core so if you really want to challenge yourself and make it more cardio related, then definitely speed it up and go even faster, because why not? We're here to work out and we're working hard. All right, so we're going to go for another minute and we're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. Really good. Well done guys, keep going. Really stretch that body right over, as much as you can. Even when you're going fast, make sure you keep that technique. That's it, well done, you're doing really well. 20 seconds left. Final push, let's go. Final 10 seconds, now let's go. Three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good job. Cool, I can really feel it coming down here, which is good. It means I'm working the right muscles. So have a nice break, grab a quick drink, and then we'll go again for another minute. And it feels like quite a long time, it's crazy. When you're going, you're like, is this gonna end? This whole minute. So hopefully your core will have worked hard after this. So we're gonna go again in three, two, one, and off you go. Really good. Really stretch now. 
that's it. Well done. You go. Keep those arms moving. That's it. Well done, guys. Really good job. 20 seconds left. Hold your belly there, hang on in there. Final 10 seconds now, final push. Dig deep, let's go. Keep that speed up if you can. Three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good job. Whew. That is quite cardio related, just quite out of breath after that. Really good, really good effort. You're doing really well. We've done three exercises now. We've got two more to go. So have a little bit of a break and then we'll get ready to go into the fourth exercise. Have a drink. Now the fourth exercise we did, if you can think all the way back to Halloween, we did this in our Halloween workout. So we're gonna be doing our zombie twists because they're really, really good for our core, a bit like our Russian twist. So it tests our balance as well at the same time because you're gonna have your arms out in front of you. So all you're gonna do is have your arms out, relax those wrists so you're like a zombie, and you're just gonna go from left to right, as far around as you can go on each side. So it's nice and simple. Try and use most of your core to do it and not your upper body if you can. Try and work whatever you've got there. I know you don't have much, some of you. I don't either, so I've just gotta really try my best and that's all you can do and that's all we can ask of you. So just work really hard, and we're gonna go for a minute. If you need to have a break at any point, please do, don't let that stop you. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. Left to right, left. Yeah, really good job guys, keep going, really good. Well done. And you're halfway, you've done 30 seconds now. Keep going, keep those arms out straight if you can. Really good job, keep pushing. Can't let you go. Fifteen seconds left. Oh, final push, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really good job. I don't know why, I just find them so hard. I find them a real big challenge, so it's good for me, and we'll do them again for another minute to really push ourselves. Grab a drink if you need, have a nice rest. But we're going again in 10 seconds, so get those arms ready. It's a short rest, so get ready to move in. Three, two, one, and off you go. If you're struggling with putting two hands out in front, then you can have a go and just do it with one, and balance with the other hand. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. Back to two. Sorry, I probably should have told you on the first step. Yeah, you, you guys are good at adapting, but you're good. And you're halfway, you've done 30 seconds now. Keep going. Oh, it's tiring. Keep going. I'm talking to myself more than you guys. <laughs> Motivating myself to keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done, really, really good job. One more exercise to go, we're nearly there, really good. You're working so, so hard. Okay, and what we're gonna do for the next one, we're just gonna do a pull down. And you're gonna do it without any pieces of equipment at all. I know it's gonna feel quite simple probably at first, um, but you can speed it up. And if you do it in the right technique, hopefully it should work you quite hard. So 
So all you're going to do is have your hands above your head and you're going to pull down to that 90 degree angle and then come back up. So you're just going to pull down and back up, pull down and back up. Try and always come down to that 90 degree angle. Don't drop below here. It'll become too easy for you then. Always keep those elbows nice and high and level with your shoulders. You're going to pull down as if you're pulling an elastic band apart from above your head. So really pull down with a little bit of strength as well and hopefully that will really work you hard. This is the last exercise we're doing. So we're gonna go for a minute, like every other exercise. Nearly there, promise, hang on in there. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and off we go. This is a good chance for you to show off your guns. Go on, show us how big they are. Really good. The faster you go as well, the harder it will be. Because you've got to control those arms and stop them at that point. If you want to speed it up, definitely go fast. Make sure you keep that technique though. Halfway, you've done 30 seconds. Really good. Keep pulling down. Really good. 10 seconds left. Keep powering on through. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Well done. Give those arms a rest. Shake them out if you need to. Really good job. We've got one more minute to go and that's it. So have a quick break and then we'll go again for the final time. In this one, really make sure you try and sit up nice and tall as you go. Have a really good posture and make sure your core is supporting you. Palm, arms above your head and you're just going to fall down to the angle. Really good. So we're going to go again for the final time. Three, two, one and off we go. Keep it up guys, really good. And you're halfway, you've got 30 seconds now. Keep those arms going. Remember, always come down to that 90 degree angle. 20 seconds left, that's all. Really good. 10 seconds, final 10 seconds. Push through, push through the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, stop there, well done. Really, really good job. Oh, give those arms a rest. So shake out those arms, make sure you're nice and loose. And give that core a rest too, because hopefully you worked it really, really hard there. Can't speak today, sorry. So have a quick break. Grab a quick drink and then we'll get ready to go on to our cool down. In sessions like this where we're doing a lot of balance work, a lot of core work and stretching a lot of our muscles, it's really important that we cool down, make sure we're not stiff tomorrow because otherwise you will get soreness and that's not ideal. Um, especially when you're on holiday or the end of your holiday and you want to go back nice and refreshed to work. So all we're going to do now is we're going to start off with our arm rolls like usual and then we'll do some static stretching. Might do quite a few stretches just to make sure we're really stretched out and um, hopefully it will feel really good for you. So gather your breath and get ready for those arm rolls. We're going to do 10 on each arm nice and slowly. So when you're ready, off we go. One. Two, sorry that was my timer. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. And switch over to ten on the other arm too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine and one more. 
can really, really good job. Shake out those arms, make sure you're nice and loose. And we're just going to finish off with our static stretches. So you're going to have one arm straight, you're going to cross it across your body and support it with the other hand. Just hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And switch over and do the same with the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really, really good job. Shake it off, make sure you're nice and loose. You're then just going to reach up into the air, drop your arm down behind the back, and if you can, pull it across with the other hand. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out and round. Come back down, really good. And then stretch up with your arm, drop it down behind your back, and pull it across if you can. If you don't, just leave it drop down behind your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then because we've worked these obliques oh, so much, we're going to stretch them out now. So you're going to have one hand by your side, leaning on your chair. And you're just going to reach over as far as you can to the other side and hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come back to the middle. And then reach over to the other side. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and come back to the middle. Really, really good job. Can't beat the classic good old stretch, so all we're going to do is we're just going to stretch up into the air, and you've got to use your balance to support you at this point. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out and round as you come back down, really good. And then we're just going to finish off with our neck stretches. So nice and gently, we're just going to tilt our head to one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and to the other side gently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really, really good job. And shake it all out. Get nice and loose. Really, really good job. Grab a final drink. You know the drill by now. Make sure you keep nice and hydrated. And give yourselves a round of applause. That is another 25 minute workout complete. So tick, well done. You've done really, really well. And I hope your core has felt like it's worked hard and your balance. This, these are all exercises that will help improve your balance and will just make your everyday life a lot easier. So if you can do this video as much as possible, then hopefully it will really help you improve. But you've done so, so well, guys. Well done. And thank you so much for joining me again. Like, especially coming back after the holidays is really, really hard work. So, um, well done. You've worked really hard and keep working hard. I'll be back again next week with another wheelchair workout. So stay tuned. And in the meantime, just stay safe, have fun, stay warm. Don't get too cold and wet and just have fun with your family. Have a good week. See you soon. Bye.